Welcome back to R Code. Today, we're tackling five programming myths that might be keeping you from taking the next step in your coding journey. Maybe you've heard that you have to be a math genius or that you can't break into tech without a fancy degree. Sound familiar? Let's set the record straight. By the end of this video, you'll see that programming is more accessible, flexible, and inclusive than you ever imagined. Whether you're new to coding or looking to level up, these busted myths should give you the confidence to push forward. Let's dive right in. One of the most persistent myths is that coding is basically advanced math in disguise, like you need to solve complex equations every day. The truth? For the majority of programming tasks, complex mathematics just isn't front and center. Let's say you're building a website or creating a mobile app. You're mostly dealing with logic structures, if-else conditions, loops, and functions. Sure, you might need basic arithmetic here and there, but being a math genius is absolutely not a prerequisite. In fact, think about it this way. Programming is more like learning a language than crunching numbers. You're communicating instructions to a computer. Of course, if you're diving into specialized fields, like machine learning algorithms or high-level computational simulations, some math skills will help. But even then, you often rely on well-tested libraries and tools that handle the heavy lifting. So, instead of brushing up on your calculus, focus on problem-solving techniques and logical thinking. That's what really matters. Myth number two. Python is too slow to be taken seriously. This one always makes me smile because while Python might not break speed records, it's incredibly powerful, versatile, and well-loved by both beginners and industry veterans. Let's be honest. In most projects, raw speed isn't the main priority. Maintainability, readability, and quick development time often matter more. And Python excels at that. Look at the domains where Python thrives. Data science, machine learning, web development, scripting, automation. Huge companies like Google and Spotify rely on Python. Data scientists love it because libraries like NumPy and Pandas handle complex operations efficiently under the hood, often using optimized C code. If you do hit a performance bottleneck, maybe a particularly math-heavy calculation, you can integrate a faster language like C++ or Rust for that critical part. The bottom line? Don't let the Python is slow myth scare you off. For most real-world projects, Python hits a sweet spot between efficiency and ease of use. It's why it remains one of the most popular languages year after year. Myth 3. If you don't have a computer science degree, you can't get hired. Let's bust this one wide open. While formal education can provide structure and some theoretical foundations, it's no longer a strict requirement for breaking into the industry. The tech landscape has changed dramatically over the past decade. Many companies, including big players like Google and Apple, have started to focus more on what you can do rather than where you studied. I've personally met skilled developers who came from all sorts of backgrounds, former teachers, musicians, accountants, even chefs who decided to switch careers. What made them stand out wasn't a diploma. It was their portfolio. Your GitHub repo, personal website, open source contributions, and the projects you've actually built carry a lot of weight. In today's world, the resources to learn code are everywhere. Online courses, coding boot camps, YouTube tutorials, and community forums. Dedication, curiosity, and a willingness to learn continuously will get you much further than a piece of paper. Focus on developing practical skills, showing off your projects, and demonstrating you can solve real problems. That's what employers truly value. Next up, we have the idea that programmers have the entire language memorized, down to every function and syntax rule. Nothing could be further from the truth. Even seasoned developers who've been coding for 10 or 20 years still look things up all the time. Seriously, Google and Stack Overflow are like an extension of every programmer's brain. Programming isn't about cramming your head with endless functions and methods. It's about knowing how to approach a problem, 
break it down into manageable steps, and find the best solution, often by consulting documentation or communities. What's important is understanding the concepts and patterns, not memorizing the exact code snippet to center a div in CSS. Over time, you'll naturally remember common solutions, but even then, you'll encounter new challenges every day. Embrace the idea that being a good programmer means being a good researcher. It's about adaptability, not rote memorization. Finally, let's talk about age. A lot of people think, I'm too old to start learning code, or tech companies only hire young hotshots straight out of college. That's simply not true. The beauty of coding is that it's a skill based on your ability to learn, solve problems, and build things. That has nothing to do with your birth year. There are countless examples of people who started programming in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and beyond, and successfully transitioned into tech careers. The industry's door is open to anyone who can contribute and keep up with the evolving landscape. Think about it. Technology changes so fast that everyone is constantly learning something new, regardless of their age. Your life experience, communication skills, and work ethic can all be huge assets. If you're drawn to coding, whether it's at 15 or 55, go for it. Today's resources make it easier than ever to learn at your own pace. Age is just a number, and what really counts is your willingness to learn, create, and improve. Now that we've debunked these five myths, let's talk about how to move forward. Coding is an evolving craft, and everyone, from absolute beginners to seasoned engineers, is on a learning journey. Don't let outdated beliefs or misconceptions stop you from giving it a shot. Start small. Pick a language that interests you, follow a beginner tutorial, and build something simple, maybe a personal website or a small game. Over time, you'll gain confidence, expand your toolbox, and discover which areas of programming excite you the most. Remember, you don't have to fit some narrow stereotype to thrive in tech. Whether you're a creative looking to visualize data beautifully, a career changer passionate about automating tasks, or just someone intrigued by how apps work behind the scenes, there's a place for you in the programming world. Thanks for watching. I hope we've cleared up some common misunderstandings and shown that programming is more accessible than it often appears. If this video helped boost your confidence, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more coding tips, tutorials, and myth-busting sessions. Which myth resonated with you the most? Or which one did you once believe? Let us know in the comments below. Keep coding, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.